I was approached recently by someone who had um, people working during the week and then they would all take turns working the weekends. He wanted me, he wanted to set up something so that if they work weekends, on this on this schedule that the next time they wouldn't work weekends and when it would keep going until it was their turn to week, work weekends again and so i wrote a little piece of code here and um basically it, it's not uh too tough of logic what i'm doing is just i'm just shifting everybody down and so let's go to the developer tab and let's go to macros and sort for weekends and I'm going to run it. And there you go, there you have um, the people at the bottom have now come to the top. And now instead of having Kim and Philip working on the weekend, you have um, Isaac and Christine working on the weekend in here and the same thing for the other one. Now I, I'm going to show you the code, but I'm just going to show you something that's kind of um, how I got these people to be um, to be gray or to be orange when they're uh, when they're working weekends. Is I have um, I have gone in here and I've done the weekday function. Okay, and then I'm selecting. Uh, the the date here and I'm pressing enter and then press down and then of course you can do that and drag it all down so you have the weekdays for everybody now how, what I did is I went to conditional formatting and I did it on the first one and I go on, on the home tab you go to conditional formatting and then you're going to go on um, new rule and you're going to use a formula uh, to for your rule. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say now, according to the weekdays, um, Friday is a six and Saturday is a seven. OK, so I'm going to do it that if um, if this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the absolute reference off the row. So it's for the whole the whole section. So if this um, is equal to uh, six, let's just do six. And then um, I'm going to go format, format, and I'm going to choose the same orange, hopefully. And I'm going to say OK. And so then I say OK. And of course, um, this is this isn't a Friday. This is a Wednesday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my format painter and I'm going to paint the rest of the way down here. And now you can see that we've got all of the Fridays highlighted in um, in in the orange color. Now you can go again and do this again until you get Saturdays for the next one. But let me just show you what code I've written. It's pretty simple. And so what I've said is I, I've decided that I've named uh, row and column as long, row new is long, column new is long, and row equals um, equals five and column and column equals one because I'm, the names are in the first one. So I've declared row is five and column is one because that's where we're starting from. And so then what I'm saying is row new equals row plus. So what I wanted to do is I, I wanted to take this one and move it down to this one. And that's exactly what it's done. So I say row new equals R plus two and column new equals then we're moving over. We're moving over from here and we're moving over um, three columns to the next one. And so then it's, it's a simple for loop from five to uh, five to 16, which is right to here, because I want to put the bottom ones at the top here. And so then I do another for loop and it's, um, I go to 17 and I'm saying now for 17 and 18, um, the new one is over three columns and uh, the row is up 12. And so that it puts it right there. And so that that works pretty well. Now, for example, if you wanted uh, 
you could just uh, to get it to do go again. Basically, what you do is you'd copy this, put it over there, and then it would go. It would move them down to the next ones for the for the next week after that, or next schedule after that. So that's how I am rotating my staff for the weekends. I will, of course, include the code in my description of my video. Please subscribe.